bad stops. There's there's plenty of cases we get as defense attorneys where our clients come to us and they just say, yeah, it, you know, stop was legal. I shouldn't have done this and that, but it was illegal. And we dig deeper to find the illegality. There was this case, for example, where the cops are following this truck. And while the truck was in the far left lane, it crossed over the solid white line into the right lane. It didn't use a turn signal. So the cops stopped this truck. They searched the truck. It's got cocaine in it. That's why we're talking about it. And the cops say, look, I stopped this truck based on two infractions, failure to maintain a single lane and failure to signal. But when this truck went from the far left lane to the far right without using a signal, is that really a violation of the traffic law? No, it's not. Because failing to signal only applies when you're signaling other drivers. There were, no, there were no other cars on the road when this happened. Nobody else was affected. So no turn signal was required by law. The, the change was safe. And even though the truck crossed a solid white line to get to the, red, the, the right lane, this was considered, yeah, failing to maintain a single lane. But again, it was safe. No other cars were around. This was an illegal stop. The cops shouldn't have stopped this truck. And the court threw out this possession of cocaine charge. You can find this in a case called Heard v. State. And it, this happens all the time when the cops do things like this that are technically right, but legally wrong. They're common sense, but legally what they did was wrong. We're going to get, yeah, we're going to get that drug case thrown out. We're going to get the stop thrown out and anything that was found as a result.